In a remote village in Tainin province, 66-year-old Pham Van Soi will never forget the day the American planes came. The planes came in low over the trees. They were spraying a white fog, he says. It covered the ground, the trees. He was drenched in the stuff. Before the day was out, the plants in his fields were dead. In a few more days, all the leaves were gone from the trees. But it would be many years before the worst would come for Pham and thousands of others. This, say the Vietnamese, is the human fallout from Agent Orange three decades after the war. An estimated 150,000 children suffering terrible deformities, crippling cancers and brain damage. An epidemic of birth defects, heavily concentrated in areas where Agent Orange was used. In this Tainin clinic for disabled children, everyone has relatives who were exposed to defoliants during the war, Pham Van Soi among them. Twenty years after Agent Orange was sprayed here, his son Thong was born with terribly deformed arms. And just a year ago, his grandson was born with the same condition. There's no doubt this was caused by Agent Orange, they tell us. America needs to accept its responsibility and give us help. Of course, this is just one of many areas attacked with defoliants during the war. The U.S. military sprayed more than 10 million gallons of the toxic chemicals across a vast area from 1962 to 1971, turning what were lush forest areas into wastelands. Looked pretty much like this. At the time, the military insisted that the actions did deny jungle sanctuaries to the enemy. But in fact, it was peasants and farmers who bore the brunt of the defoliant's effects. An estimated 20,000 villages were sprayed with defoliants. More than 5 million Vietnamese were exposed to one of the world's deadliest toxins, a key ingredient of Agent Orange, dioxin. Dioxin that seeped into the soil and poisoned the food chain. Dr. Win Thi Phung Tham has spent more than a decade studying the effects of Agent Orange. Her research links it to a growing number of cancers, diseases of the immune system, and to chromosome damage passed on from mothers to children. The grandchildren of people exposed to Agent Orange have a much greater probability of birth defects. While post-war relations between Vietnam and the United States have improved dramatically, Agent Orange remains a point of contention. In a Ho Chi Minh City military museum, this grim exhibit portrays the use of defoliants as a war crime against the Vietnamese people. Vietnam still wants the U.S. to apologize and to provide more aid for victims. I didn't realize how terrible the effects of Agent Orange were. American tourists, Mike and Brenda Drum, were stunned by the images and thought America should do more. I, I personally think that any time you, you use any type of chemical warfare like that, that you are ultimately responsible forever for the effects. That is not the position of the U.S. government, which officially will not recognize any legal responsibility for damages allegedly linked to Agent Orange in Vietnam. All of our war claims were settled uh, in 1975 at the end of the war. Um, and we do not believe that there is yet uh, clear scientific evidence that shows a direct linkage between um, Agent Orange and any uh, health effects. Still, in recent years, there has been more dialogue and more U.S. flexibility on this sensitive issue. The U.S. has now promised several million dollars in aid and technical support to help Vietnam begin an environmental cleanup of dioxin hotspots around the former U.S. bases in Vietnam, where Agent Orange was stored. The soil under those sites has been found to contain some of the highest concentrations of dioxin ever recorded. The toxin, it seems, was leaking out of the Agent Orange containers even before it was sprayed on the Vietnamese countryside. But future cleanup efforts will come as little comfort to the family of Pham Van Soi, a family still trying to cope with a terrible legacy of war, three decades, three generations after that war officially came to an end. This is Mark Litke reporting for World Focus in Tainin Province, Vietnam.